Welcome back and thank you for staying with Morning Express right here on KTN News. We just want to revisit the latest news, unfortunate uh, passing on of Mama Sarah Obama. That is the latest news reaching our studios. She passed on at the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital uh, where her daughter, Masat Obama, has just confirmed this unfortunate news. Uh, she passed on while she was 99 years old at the time of her her death and she has been lauded as an educator and philanthropist working closely with the Mama Sarah Obama Foundation whose mission was actually to improve the education welfare of disenfranchised children across the country and even as we are trying to dig deeper for more information surrounding her passing on we just want to rerun a story that hit um, the headlines in 2015 on April 5th right here on KT and news in anticipation to the arrival of the then president, U, um, U.S. President Barack Obama, who was just set to arrive in the country. So uh, we did source for comments from Mama Sarah Obama, who was quite excited about the visit of her grandson. Let's just listen in to this particular report that aired roughly five years ago, even as we remember the late Mama Sarah Obama. No one is waiting for his visit more than his grandmother, Mama Sarah Obama. The last time the U.S. president stepped in this home in Kogelo was when he was the Illinois senator in 2006. Mm. I asked him to come the last time I paid him a visit in America, and he said he would once everything settled down. Sarah Obama says that she cannot wait to cook for her grandson again. However, now that he is the president of the most powerful country in the world, she may have to be cautious with her expectations. He said that he's coming for work and he wants to see people here. Looking at the pictures, Mama Sarah tells of how Obama's children resemble their great aunt, the late Barack Obama's senior sister. Barack Obama's father and mother were estranged. However, the U.S. president has kept seemingly close ties with his father's family, even after his death. Hey, Over the years, Sarah Obama has earned various accolades, which she displays proudly. Despite the attack on Garissa University College on the 2nd of April that saw at least 147 students killed, the President of the United States of America has promised to stand by the Kenyan government, assuring Uhuru Kenyatta that he will make good his promise to visit the country in July. In a phone call to President Uhuru Kenyatta yesterday, Obama said that the U.S. will look into ways to strengthen counter-terrorism cooperation between the two countries. He finished off by saying that Kenya will not be defined by violence violence and terror. Katrina Mwando, KTN. All right, just a report that aired in 2015, even as we appreciate the memory of the late Mama Sarah Obama, who just passed on today morning at the Jaramogi Ginga Odinga Hospital. Uh, the daughter has confirmed that particular set of unfortunate news. We do pass our condolence to the family of the late Mama Sarah Obama. But back to the discussion we were having, even as we conclude, I was joined by Victor Buire, who's a director of media training and development at the Media Council of Kenya, as well as Dr. Michael Ndonye, who's the head of department mass communication at Kabarak University. Gentlemen, as we conclude on this particular conversation, um, perhaps as you give us your take on perhaps the interest uh, around the business model within the media aspect and give us your final remarks on this, we'd appreciate your condolence message uh, to those who have been affected by the passing on of Mama Sarah Obama. I'll start with you, uh, Dr. Ndonye. Thank you very much. And I want to begin by, first of all, expressing my condolences to uh, those who have been affected by the passing on of Mama, Mama Sarah Obama. I think this is, um, is, a, is, a, is a woman who um, uh, done a lot, has done a lot uh, for this country and also um, uh, 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 for his family. So I want to say sorry, may, may God give them strength during this time. And also this country, we are going to remember her as a woman who actually uh, did a lot in education as you, uh, you had said before. So thank you very much. We um, we 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 want to um, uh, to expect that we are going to see uh, a lot of 
um, uh, honor given to her. Back to our, um, our, our, our discussion, I want to first of all thank Victor Buire. He's a, he's a man I respect at the when he said that um, a lot of training has been done to these people. It is very important to know that then, uh, therefore, what, what um, they, they have been doing is actually something which is outside the, the training. And the values are very important in, um, in journalism as a profession. And therefore, uh, just to come back, the reason, one of the reasons that uh, what Victor Buire has said is that um, the media houses are the ones who are responsible for this. And I remember most of the, at the beginning of this, I, I flagged something that was very unique and that was very um, uh, unfortunate about that particular show. If the directors chose to have some topics discussed, like um, um, based on maybe a sensitive issue like gender-based violence, I was asking, how is it that only three, only men, three men were in the, in the, in the house without a representative from the opposite gender. Because if there was a woman in that uh, particular uh, setting, uh, maybe that um, uh, person would have, would have responded, maybe it could, she could have balanced the discussion and it could have been better. Um, and that is very important for us, but it seems that the interest of, uh, uh, of of many 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 media houses is more of business more than the objectivities and the, the principles and the values which are supposed to be upheld by the journalists. So the the, the that interest actually uh, and that is why actually they may end up paying dearly for for not balancing issues the way they are supposed to be balanced. Number one, number two for not uh, being sensitive in their programming. And if this, this, these presenters were, were, were actually, in most cases, forced to say some of these things, or they are given scripts that they are supposed to follow them, that is also very unfortunate. And I think um, uh, Mr. Mbwire is very, uh, very clear on that. It is very unfortunate that there can be directors, there can be producers, there can be management, who are forcing, who are actually doing programming, giving topics to some presenters and having them hear them as they are without considering the values and the principles which are, which are supposed to be followed, especially in journalistic um, uh, profession. At the Media Council of Kenya, I know it has been very supportive in training. Actually, that one is, 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 is very clear. They have been very consistent in their training of journalists all over, whether they are journalists by training or they are journalists by interest. All right. What, what, what should we do then? Okay, okay, Dr. Dr. Ari, many thanks for your contribution. I'd just like to pick the mind of uh, Victor Buire, perhaps on the passing on of Mama Sarah Obama, even as we continue with the discussion. Over to you, Victor Buire. Thank you. We want uh, to sincerely learn of colleagues and on behalf of the media council where I work uh, to pass on our condolences to the late Mama Sarah Obama. Uh, this is a difficult time. We want to uh, uh, pray that God gives them comfort at this uh, sad moment. Victor Biru, we seem to have an issue with your connection. Uh, uh, apologies for that, even as we try and re-establish proper connections so we can actually get your comments on the various issues we're discussing. We just wanted to put that matter to rest in terms of the derogatory comments mentioned right there on that particular radio show. So we have uh, appreciated your input right there, gentlemen. Many thanks for your input on that particular matter. But the latest reaching our studios right now, touching on the past on of Mama Sarah Obama. Um, she passed on just today morning in terms of the passing on of Mama 
Masara Obama at the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital. Uh, she was 99 years old and, of course, we just got the comments of our guest in terms of her passing on. We'll definitely want to bring you up to speed with the latest surrounding her demise. Uh, that is the latest news reaching our studios right now. Mama Sarah Obama is no longer with us. She did pass on at the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Hospital. Uh, she was 99 years old and she has been hailed as being quite instrumental in the education sector as she was running 